What have you got for us today? Uh, so this is for all you vinyl addicts out there. This is your uh, 1920s portable gramophone. This would have been what you used. Uh, it's, this would have been your Walkman back in the day or your Discman. I guess now your uh, MP3 player, your phone. 1920s iPod <laughs> yeah. here. Yeah, so this is uh, how th things were done back then. This tone arm here. Yeah. And you can, you have uh, this diaphragm that you add on the end. That's what resonates the sound. If you notice down on the tip, that's the that's the needle there. That sharp piece of steel. Yeah. Here's the uh, where did it go? Here's the container of needles. Needles. You see, these are one play needles. So you use one, you play your record, and you throw the needle out. <laughs> Unbelievable. And, uh, Essentially obviously you a can nail. See that they're very uh, damaging to the vinyl. Um, so yeah, and then you'd uh, take the little, put your record on here, and then you take your handle, put it in the box, wind it up. Get near the edge. Here. Wind it up. Hopefully it's enough to get one song, right? <laughs> and then with the obviously with the needle on the record, then yep. you turn the little dial, and you'd have to adjust. You'd have to dial in the speed, right? Really? There's no to get uh, the sound right. Yeah, to get no the sound way. right, right? So you dial in the speed. Let's Weird. Properly. Yeah. If you want to go faster? You open it up more, right? <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> slow it down. You'll know, go real slow. And so the, you said earlier that it just resonates. Yeah, and it out just, of the, box. the sound just, just resonates through this little chamber, which is a hollow box. I mean, there's some mechanisms in there, but yeah. And obviously, you have to sit really close. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to be uh, powering any house parties or anything with this. Party, but. <laughs> cool. Well, thanks for bringing that by. Yeah, no problem. It's really nice. Cool. See ya.